two sea turtles are in trouble. A good thing for them, there's a small army of people out there eager to help. It begins with members of the Audubon Society scouring the beaches of the Cape looking for turtles stranded by the coming of winter. In the summertime, these animals come up into Cape Cod Bay to feed. And what happens is the temperatures drop too quickly sometimes in our area and the animals get frozen or hypothermia. And this is one case, Belinda Rubenstein says, when stranding is actually a good thing. It's a good thing because people are able to find them, right, and we're able to bring them back here. Here is the New England Aquarium, where more than three dozen turtles in distress have been brought so far this year. The most critical patients are rushed up here to the Aquarium Medical Center. This sea turtle, when they discovered it, had a pulse of only three beats per minute. A healthy turtle should be closer to 30. And they couldn't detect it breathing. So what they're doing is they're administering drugs via IV to get the heart started, and they're bagging the turtle to help it breathe. If this Kemp's Ridgely turtle makes it, he'll join other survivors in recovery tanks at the aquarium, maybe spending months before being released back at sea. If not, he'll be one less of his endangered kind in the wild. And when you learn there are only 800 breeding females left in the world, you'll understand why this small army does what they do. Garvin Thomas, 7 News.